Hello everyone, what's up? In this members only exclusive video, I'm going to show you how I use the Ammo of Make Oil Brushers, apply dry, in order to create additional shading and grime on these three Tartarus Terminators. So if you're looking for a relaxing, completely stress-free way to shade your models and you don't mind being slow and purposeful in the process, this video is for you. So guys, here's my World Eater Tartarus, all shiny-like, right before decals. And here it is after decals and a pin wash. As you can see, there is a lot more contrast now and some accumulation of grime in specific areas, but still the model has large panels of almost pristine white, which for my tastes weren't really 12th Legion appropriate. Enter the Starship Base Lodge Oil Brusher by Ammo. That's quite a mouthful, yeah. In this first example, I'm working on the gorget area, so to speak, which had already received both chipping and a wash. However, I thought this part would naturally get a lot more built-up grime running down from the top of the armor. Anyway, you can see that I'm using the applicator brush directly. Just remove any excess oil on a piece of tissue and you're good to go. For blending though, use a stubby brush if you can. I didn't have any myself and my life would have been much easier with a short bristle brush. And speaking of having an easy life, since the oil brushers are already pre-thinned, they have just the right consistency for this type of application. As you can see, now I'm doing a second pass, spreading the oil more thinly over the entire area. With a second brush, slightly dampened and thinner, I'm now cleaning up the area. It's just a matter of pushing or dragging the oil, and you could completely remove it if you wanted. Which is why I said before that this technique is stress-free. There is no risk of screwing up anything. It can be laborious though, as sometimes you remove too much and you need to reapply. A lot of this is just practice and also having the right tools. Again, a shorter brush would have been much better for me. Now it's time for the top of the armor, which by the way, I love on these models. Looks fantastic. As you can see, I'm targeting panel lines and corners and using the applicator brush that comes with the oil brushers. Like before, it's a matter of spreading the oil with a stippling motion. Now I'm coming in with a second brush and cleaning up the area. As you can see, this oil looks fantastic over white and really does its name justice. It looks exactly like built-up grime. Now I'm doing another pass with a bit more thinner. If you go overboard, remember that you can always add some more oil and, well, have at it again. Here is my Death Guard dude, DGD, remember? Ready for some additional weathering. This time I decided to use the aptly named Rust Oil Brusher. Here, once again, I went with the applicator directly. To be honest, there was little point in being delicate and using a small brush, which I did do on the legs of the World Eater. Getting the model completely dirty like this was a lot of fun. Not only was I not stressed about it being excessive or whatever, it felt great, a bit like finger painting. Pushing the oil this way and that, as you can see, can be quite laborious. A bit like herding cats sometimes. But little by little, things start to take shape, or rather, to take the shape that you want. Here I just decided to go more aggressive with the thinner and remove most of the oil from the center of each panel. 
But even then, what I found was that the oil would act as a filter, making a big difference to the end finish. For example, compare here the power fist area, with only the enamel wash, with the top of the model. You see what I mean? Time for the Imperial Fist, for which I selected the dark brown oil brusher. Again I decided to go pretty crazy to begin with, but this time the brush for that initial application was slightly damp, which in retrospect wasn't a good idea. With the oil brushers, I would recommend applying them completely dry, so do as I say, not as I did here, guys. In any case, the only problem with that was that it made the whole process more time-consuming. As you can see, the result was still good, same as before, and that filtering effect in the areas which are not shaded per se was still present. So guys, here you can see my Tartarus three ways again. Although I have no dedicated before and after pictures as such, I'm confident that you've seen the tremendous difference that the oils made. I believe that the shading was really convincing and that even the panels where I removed like 90% of the oils have gained a filtering effect which also improves the finish substantially. So what are my top tips for this technique? Well, first of all, give the oil brushers a try if you haven't yet. They really are perfect for this. Secondly, don't make my mistake and make sure that you have two or three stubby, short bristle brushes for this. I've since bought several. And thirdly, don't be alarmed if it all looks like a dirty mess at the start. Remember that you can always hit the reset button and start again if you like. For myself, I have to say that this was a bit of a revelation for me. I'm very happy with the finish on these three guys and happier yet with the difference that this step made. I have since bought not only dedicated brushes, like I said before, but also a bunch of new oils. You can be sure that my upcoming Leviathan Dreadnought is going to be really, really dirty. Before I start rambling on and on, I think it's time to call it a day. But remember, keep it up and weather it out. <laughs>